Welcome back. All of the info is at the end of the video and some tips and secrets. Aquarius, what a bold month for you. Yes, we do have your general update with your oldest readings five day, as well as we will move on to singles, couples and twin flames for those of you that follow the twin flame energy. Now, this month is going to be really supercharged and I do feel for you moving into the month, there's some major breakthroughs and decisions and I do see from the cards um, it's sort of like you're not going to give up, okay? I, I do feel that there could be some revelations that come out, but there's a major decision that needs to be made. I do feel for a lot of you, in the first two weeks, I feel like A, you can be fertile, um, but B, it can be that your creative projects and looking at love will be under the spotlight. I do feel at the moment um, your self-esteem can be building. It could be wavering a little bit in the first 10 days, but I do feel... Uh, the area that you have moved to, you know, what you're dealing with, how you're looking at life. I feel from a foundation level, if there was a little bit of a thought to do with where you're supposed to be, and this is very base chakra, we are going to have Jupiter move into the house of Aries this month, which is going to help you be quite bold indeed. Now, I do feel some of you may have been experiencing a feeling that you want to change and a feeling that you want to dive deeper, but at the same time, you may feel areas of life that you can directly depend on, you're trying to enhance. So you could be problem solving at that level and looking at how to enhance those areas. There also may have been some circumstances relating to contracts where you're needing to read the fine print and I highly advise do that within the first 10 days. Now this can be a re-evaluation of these areas. It also with your most intimate connections can be where you're looking at it and you're thinking, wow, you know, what can I depend on and what can't I? I am seeing for some of you, you could have a change of career this month and it could be in the way that you're doing things, you're going to be changing it. But I also feel there's a potential of a makeover. Now, I do feel a little bit of conflict um, and that may be, again, in the first two weeks, I'm feeling a little bit of emotions coming up and I see the Leo card here, it's in reverse. This can be to do with... Um, your ideals. Now, it can be within your confidence, within your healthy boundaries, the way people treat you. And again, even though you are a Saturn energy, with the previous eclipse that we had, it can have directly, it may have directly affected you quite profoundly. Um, I'm feeling a location of where you're living at the moment might be changing. And again, with the yellow energy, it does come to uh, the inner child. We have Black Moon, Lilith and Cancer. You might be feeling as though you, you know, you're, you're in a foreign land, you know, is this the right um, area for you? How do you feel to do with your environment? What are the changes happening around you and family? I do feel with a practicality point of view of Taurus, you know, Taurus is very much that sort of energy that we can depend on. And at the moment, that has been for all of us collectively a little bit difficult because of changing times. This could be, again, um, your self-worth, your money, uh, your Venus area of life. I do feel it's changing, but I also feel there is an emotion that you have these hopes and dreams. Um, for some of you, you could look at actually running a home-based business. You could be at home quite a bit, but again, I see that changing too. The way you see home and the way you see your future, and I really feel you're not giving up. So whatever you're wanting to achieve, I feel it could come to a crunch. Now, we're going to look at the reasons why, and I don't feel it's that you're not going to get it because I see that you're not giving up. But I do feel, it's almost like the benchmark. I'm seeing the benchmark of what you're wanting to be so much more. I do feel there's money involved in the circumstance, but I'm also seeing values. Uh, for some of you, you could be gaining wealth. You could be working very hard in the first two weeks to actually gain that stability with multiple things changing simultaneously. For some reason, I'm feeling a sense of conflict. Um, and it can be conflict and belief systems when it comes to the group energies around you. There, there appears to be something changing. And I do believe it's going to come up in singles, couples and twin flames. But there's something that's hidden. 
that hasn't completely been shown to you and I do feel um, your part in a circumstance is going to be under review. You're like, am I, I'm hearing, am I going to put up with it? Oh, I don't know what that means. Let's see. Okay, what is this to do with, please? Give us some clarity on what that is to do with. Um, You feel something is going to go a certain way and I do feel it will it will pose a decision for you. Um, some of you that were going left and right, left and right, you weren't quite sure about how to address the circumstance. I feel you're going to be in the middle, piggy in the middle, and you're going to, you're trying to find a a win-win situation. But the, the thing that's coming through for me, again, contracts, marriages, partnerships, I feel something could come to a head of the eclipse. And also feel what was hidden in a sense of your confidence, it may change. And that can be a revelation. I do feel there could be a little bit of a secret that's coming up. And you may need to make a judgment that can relate to a contract or a connection. I do feel like you've been working hard over the last few months to get balance back. Um, I also feel if somebody hasn't been treating you correctly... Um, this could be a friend, it could be, it could be a family member. Uh, you, you might, but you, you've been keeping your mouth closed so far, but there could be a circumstance where you do speak out, and especially as we have Jupiter moving into Aries, it is linking to your third house. And I, I get that you're like, you're going to be calling somebody out, and this, this can be an outburst that happens. But whatever you've um, had a revelation about, I, I feel that you're like, you're not going to put up with it. Whatever this is, you're going to move forward. But I feel it's made you quite angry. I, I do feel some of you also can be getting a new car. But over the next three months, what you're doing in your day-to-day -day routine is going to completely change. I just don't see you going quietly. Um, some of you may, um, at the moment, maybe be away from family and that is causing emotions. You could maybe want to reconnect with um, a group of people and I definitely see that coming up. So, you know, if you don't, oh, I'm seeing this as a seed, you're planting a seed. Be careful the seed you're planting. Be careful the integrity of the individuals that you're mixing with and if they're on the same page. Um, you can feel very bold about that, but again, I, there's somebody here on the page that may not be seeing a circumstance in the same way that you are, and it can come down to integrity, but I feel there's going to be a head and a heart decision. Look, we're going to get straight into the relationship sector. We may, through each section, get additional info, but they're really pushing me to go straight into romance. Now, I'm feeling those of you that are single, this could have been... A circumstance where you were looking at your life you know what you were wanting out of love um, jealousy is coming up but I don't, I don't necessarily feel it's you Aquarius for some of you yes it can be I mean it's possessiveness but I feel it's more to do with um, shadow work and the way the person has treated you now I feel that there is a dynamic where you're, you're almost demanding a decision. It's like, right, you know, are you in, are you out? It feels very direct. I also feel you don't have time for time wasters. I'm getting this vibe that as we move into the week, I, I see as though there could be a circumstance. Again, you could be leaning into your family. You may be discussing things with individuals that you're very close with. There could be a little bit of confusion around your romantic sector, but I do feel if, the, if there is an individual coming back towards you where you haven't seen them for quite a while, I, I feel they're kind of coming to your house. So I also think, oh God, you know, I'm getting the three bears and I'm getting somebody sitting in my chair. Now, this could be a past tense memory. If this person currently is in a relationship with somebody else, um, you may have had emotions towards that coming up, but I feel it's almost like oh, I get an ultimatum. It's like an ultimatum happening here. Are you in? Are you out? It's, it's my way or the highway, but I, but I get it very boldly. I feel it's almost like this is an old connection, but I also feel two individuals in this situation. It's not just you, Aquarius. I feel there's um, another person in the mix. Now, that can be on your side as well, and that can be a choice between two individuals. 
And I feel you're going to be very determined. Somebody isn't giving up though, but I feel it's you. You want to get to the bottom of something and I feel you, it's like pecking. I feel you want to get to the bottom of this. You're going to be speaking your mind. I feel this is going to be very blunt. Yeah, you're definitely not putting up with things if they're done in the dark. And I do feel if there has been something that has been done in the dark, you're wanting to know where this goes. You want to have your happy outcome. You're looking at your value systems. You've got lots of plans for your life. You've got hopes and dreams and aspirations here. And I feel some of them are coming back to the table to be reviewed. And I feel you're going to actually action them. So this this is one of those months where it kind of looks a bit bumpy moving in but the clarity the epiphanies the gossip um the secrets there you know it's skeletons in the closet coming out somebody's going to make contact with you and this feels like somebody that you didn't completely kick it off with and i feel they're going to tell you um, how they actually see you and again I do feel it's sort of like you're looking at it going wow I, I kind of felt that but I wasn't completely sure um, they actually see you in a higher light than you see yourself which is really beautiful it's um it's quite a beautiful thing and again I'm seeing the justice um, where you're going to have to weigh the pros and cons up what's going to work for you but I do feel if somebody's really irked you I'm seeing a group of people um, there's some you're meeting with, there's some you're not. Now, I'm also seeing a situation playing out with siblings, and that can be you leaning into them, you talking to them, um, definitely because some major situation potentially might have happened around family, and you could be getting a little bit more detail. So you could be casting a critical eye on that situation and feeling, you know, really quite um, triggered by it potentially, and, and really speaking your truth towards it and requesting integrity you know the good old aquarian style it's like oh we level up over here ah couples very interesting month the question is are we both on the same page and i do feel you guys may have a lot of structures in your life at the moment that are changing that does require ultimate major decisions and i do feel for those of you that are really getting on well I do feel you're wanting a lot more harmony. I, I do feel that you you have felt that you've been quite patient. But when it does come to integrity in connections, I do feel all eyes are on a particular individual. And I don't feel Aquarius, it's on you. I feel this is on the other individual. Um, I feel there is something inside this connection that is going to be very heart-centered. I'm seeing the key of life coming through with the heart chakra through the Virgoian energy, which is, it's technically the Chiron energy. Now this month, as I mentioned, through our chakra systems, we're going to have an act activation of the higher heart chakra. So be careful on the caffeine front. I do see it's the higher heart chakra, but it's also the third eye. It's our viewpoints, it's our feelings, it's the things we've thought about. But I'm also noticing, which I have been seeing spiritually, uh, a lot of hawks, a lot of, um, yeah, crows, because it's connected to the afterlife. It's very linked to Scorpio. So it's almost, you know, the death of a certain situation, but you are protected, you know, the energy of your back is protected at a foundation level. So it's about protecting yourself, but it's also, um, you know, that's what we tend to do when we're hurt. We protect ourselves, but blue is the emotions of the feelings that come up. It's also through the Chiron energy. It's, you know, like the lotus flower from darkness comes light and we directly have this rebirth. So the birth energy can be you, Aquarius, where you're being rebirthed into this more active energy. I do see a lot of you getting fit. You do need to be careful of extreme sports this month, especially because Mercury is retrograde. To be super careful about it. Again, I'm feeling lotus flower. If you're not ready though, do practice safe you know what because yes you have the fertility energy here something you're starting this month is going to bear fruit it may take a little bit of time but i do feel by reworking it re-evaluating it the steps you take this month are going to be crucial um some of you can get some very luxury orientated items and i'm hearing fine taste and this fine taste that you have 
it may have been through your family's experiences that you know you buy good quality it's going to last for a long time and I, I do see that being one situation I also feel you know pretty much from the beginning of the month a lot of you can be up in your head but you're reworking some of these thoughts and you're trying to decipher what's correct for you there could be some anxiousness I would say try and get balanced um these retrogrades can really affect your um you know it's like if you're feeling uh that a contract potentially is too restricted or if you're feeling that you know integrity is off this is when that pluto energy is going to rear its ugly head and it can really affect you but at the same time it is coming through the things that are already there we do deem the 12th house as the house of the undoing but it's also the death and the rebirth and i really do feel it's ultimately your mindset changing through your conditioning and we do have the time out energy here it's having a moment to reassess you tend to find things slow down so you can see them easier and the older we get we tend to get better at this and i do see you're going to have some breakthroughs with that also some of you may want to um, connect in with family but i feel that that in a sense is going to happen more towards the end of the month mid-month to the end of the month others of you i do see again there could be a movement that can be a movement home it could be communicating with um, mother father energy it could be you directly um, connecting into a um, turning into a parent figure or nurturing a project now I also feel at the level of romance it's going to be very active um, I, I again I do feel you'll be very active and that can be um, sports social communication um, very direct and transparent um, it's almost like you just want to cut to the bloody chase let's just put it out there you want to cut to the chase you're not mincing your words you're saying how you feel um, this person may misinterpret it as um, abrasive behavior but all of us collectively are going to have it we just need to be a little bit cautious in the way um, we handle it um, I'm hearing the term reader aura the old me is dead and gone and I, I just feel that you're not going to put up with any drama you do, you'll be willing to work with people um, providing they're working with you now some of these things that you're wanting to achieve in your life I do feel for a little bit you might second guess it but I also feel you have a great opportunity here to gain um, a lot of wealth this month. But definitely you are going to be extremely social. Now, if there are cracks in this relationship and, you know, an individual isn't coming to the table, I do feel you're having a very candid conversation with them. And it's almost like um, if, if they've done something shady, I feel they're being seen. I'm noticing the integrity energy. Um, if they have been a little bit, you know, standoffish with you, it could be that there's something changing in them. They could have emotions relating to their own family situations going on. Because I do feel there's two messages coming. One is, um, you know, an angel dressed up, you know, a devil dressed up as angel. Um, <laughs> the other is is that you know somebody's watching them now that can be you or it can be other people it might be an integrity orientated thing or it merely could be that this individual has been a little bit emotional maybe a little bit where they've retreated back and you could be personalizing it but i do feel rise above the situation ask the critical questions and i feel you'll be able to handle it but actually look at it not from face value of delusions but a reality sense of what this is so you can get to the crux of it now those of you that are twin flames i do feel there's an activation here and i do feel this is going to be movement for some of you you do have two paths and i do feel the decision is going to come down to you and this can be about who to create with who to um you know connect in with now i do feel around the eclipses and i'm hearing a total eclipse of the heart this can be where you feel do i give in do i make a call do i accept this especially with mercury going retrograde there can be this stubbornness initially but you you know this is really relating to love and i do feel um this is going to create that harmony and that balance there could be a karmic contract here that's ending I do feel if there was something to do with a harsh judgment based on you, um, you might have taken it quite personally, especially when it comes to the element of Venus. And um, again, I still see issues with siblings here. 
I do feel there's a win-win outcome and something that was very imbalanced. It is going to come around where it is as the months progress. It's going to become more balanced. This could be a judgment and this could be okay. You know, are we signing a lease together? Are we getting married? Is there a karmic contract that's ended? There's something to do with justice. I feel some of you, I'm going to pull a clarify. I feel some of you, um, you know, it was right when you were wanting to move forward. This person's coming in. Now, some of you, it could be that you want to have children with this person. Others of you, it could be a subject to do with children that you hear about. Um, you're also wondering, you know, if, if something happened, would that person be there for you? Are they actually going to, um, you know, are they going to create with you? And creativity, creativity in a connection is, are we building upon this direct foundation? I do feel, you know, you, you're going to have two choices. I feel there's two energies here. Um, you know, we hear in layman's terms in the Twin Flame Collective of false twin true twins. Nine times out of ten, just prior to your... Oh, would you say end reconciliation? Your true reconciliation, one would say, where both parties have enough tools that they can actually deal with the hurdles. I'm noticing the infinity symbol here, and I do feel it's to do with your twin. I feel there's some choices, but it's both sides. It's an emotional connection. Your arms will be open to the circumstance. I want you to trust anything that does happen. You know, twin flame paths are always very divinely guided. So even if there are the most horrendous things that can come up in twin flame path, um, somehow, I don't know how, but we always do, it does turn it about. Now, I'm seeing a lot of blue in this card and I'm seeing a lot of red and there is a lot of passion between both individuals here. I do feel, again, there's something in the way that you see yourself. You, you know, if you had been feeling down or feeling this worth energy and, you know, going from extremes. And when we're moving through a portal of ascension, when it does come to our belief inside ourselves and what we are, it's becoming comfortable, yeah, I'll just say it, with our sexuality, with who we are, with the way we look, with what we can give. And again, this eclipse does relate to that. I feel there's something to do with the choice here and you might be really like, you can't do that, you shouldn't do that. And what do I mean by that? If there was in the past a betrayal and you had spent time working on that seven stages of healing, I feel there could be a revelation and a breakthrough. I also feel you're connecting in with your divinity, but I am seeing a choice and I feel there's two parts. Many times we can attract another twin prior to reunion. So when we call, when we talk about the twin flame path, just prior to reconciliation, you'll find all the karmics will come out of the woodwork. So I'm going to pull a card for the karmics. Why? I don't know. Oh, Abraham Hicks. What do we need to know? What is the situation showing us? This path, whatever, the main thing that's coming through for this read is saying this is going to look very different by mid-month. Yeah, good old laws of attraction. Yeah, honey to the bay. Look, the light, your story, um, people involving themselves in it. A healthy story and a law of attraction. This is for the karmics. Yeah, they're components that make up our life story. Let's see if there's any subliminal messages in this. I was scrolling, sorry. Your money and financial assets, your body, state of wellness, clarity, flexibility, size and shape. Look, I did say this. It's like, you know, whoever this person is, they adore you. Your work environment, how you treat, how you are treated, work satisfaction and rewards indeed. The very happiness of your life and experiences in general is all happening because of the story that you tell. So I have been saying this to the Twin Flame Collective a lot, especially in eclipses. Be careful tuning into the individuals. Um, there is jealousy, okay? So these individuals are jealous. Um do they go honey to the light you know uh, honey to the light a moth to the candle yes that's why we tend to as we've regressed we've ascended uh we've descended ascended we're moving forward and you're making those conscious choices through self-worth 
and you're moving forward, bang, you know, your twin shows up. But, you know, the analogy that kept coming through for me this week, and it's a bloody horrible analogy, but that's that's the comedy of my guides. Um, one of my guides is my father, and he had a very sarcastic, um, kind of a derogatory sense of humour. No shade, Dad, you did. Um, the, the term I'm hearing is who let the dogs out and it's just a song especially during Mercury retrograde I tend to get a lot of songs that come through in a comical way um, to explain a situation and so it's like yes all the drama comes out it's all you know it's unhashed and it's like gee where's this coming from a little bit like when you stub your toe it's a chain of events that happens you know you do it again you do it again you're like heck I've got bad luck why is this going on I do feel these individuals are coming towards you and they can be a bit jealous but it's actually a positive confirmation from universe that you're doing the right thing take care beautifuls I'll see you during the week come and join us for our twin flame updates if you need a private booking the link is below we also have freebies on the website that does cover the twin flame mirror work and your star signs now if you do purchase the memberships go to the subscription page and see what's involved and you can see the pricing and what's included take care come through and join our notification hub on the website at yielders readings 5d never miss a notification do click the link directly below and it takes you straight there very separately we do have free star sign subscriptions and twin flame as well as the paid version where we dive deep and yes we have duo packs the duo packs give you free meditation tracks that are hosted via the website with up and coming education content for a personal booking you can go directly below we also have the webinars coming up so if you don't want to miss such visit the website otherwise i'll see you live throughout the month please comment on the video it shares it through the algorithm and thank you and i love you all so much for being part of yildas readings 5d journey